Hello and welcome to another Nicomedia tutorial. So I know uh, in the last tutorial I said uh, this will be the last tutorial for this year, but uh, I got a question in my Facebook group and I thought I will answer it. It's it's uh, now if you see it it's uh, half past ten p.m. here, but what else? Good. Uh, yeah, it's about oopsie. This one here. Uh, yep, I got this question, and let's go to this side, and let's go to this guy. From mo mark mo mark mo problem, and uh, yeah, he has some really nice looks on his Instagram. You will find later on the link in the description. And we, uh, I got two requests from Susie. It, it was this one here. And yeah, we will do this next time, maybe, or yeah, next time. Uh, but I thought we will do the more complicated one. At least this one is, I think it's the easier one. And uh, we do the, 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 this one today. We make this one. So you see what we have here. We have some capsules rotating around. In the capsules, we have two spheres. The yeah, the, the sphere round. <laughs> I don't, I don't do it exactly like this. So I don't do this, this uh, plants and uh, yeah, and this pillar. You can put on, on this whatever you want. I show you the technique how to do this, and yeah, we will do some something uh, like this. So okay, we do the animation, but in the middle I don't do some such broad thing. I will do something like a fork or something else. We will see. Uh, yeah, so let's stop this and let's let's start. I start in the front view and I make a simple rectangle, two hundred by two hundred, and do 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 rounding. Okay, good. And I want the capsule what goes around this thing here not around inside this so to go to rotate around here what I need and is another thing is a circle T for scale and scale it down so now I wanted not to let uh, rotate a capsule here around the circle which uh, touches the, uh, the edge here good what we need as well is a capsule Capsule, yep, T for scale, scale it down. And on the capsule, I uh, take animation tag, align to spline. The spline path, of course, is the circle. Okay, we get something like this now. The capsule size. Yeah, but this is uh, quite all all great parameters, so we can change from almost everything later on too. So, 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 five maybe. I'll make it eighty. So I want to touch the thing here, but what I want is uh, so the diamond thing. So, so I have to rotate this thing here. To 45 degrees. Queen. Okay. And so a capsule. Like it's plus X. Good so far. You see, you okay, can capsule does not touch. So, but what I can do is can make this sphere bigger. Don't know how big we want our capsules, but as I said, we can change everything later on. So something like this: twenty-two to the eighty-five. I make the circle a little bigger so that we touch the, the edge here. And now, when we rotate this, we want to rotate. So our capsule should rotate as well. Good. 
and I want to do this everything without keyframes. So for this I use Express, so, so we need no keyframe at all. Good, so and it's, it's a simple Express, so don't be afraid, it's a very simple thing. I take the caption. And you can do your, prog your express attack, you can put it on wherever you want, so, so it does not be the, uh, have to be on the capsule or something else, but for me it's easier like this. So What I want is, on frame 0, the position should be 0% uh, percent, percent, and on frame 100, I have 100 frames, 25 frames per second, on frame 100 it should be 100% of course. So what I need is, I need this align to spline tag and the position of it. So I drag the position in the income here, so the input. So this is this. Now I need a time node for the frames. Time. And I don't want to work with time, I want to work with frames. So I double click on this point here and take the frame. So I want frame. On frame 100, 100%. So that means I need uh, a range mapper, which tells the thing what is what. So in the range mapper, I have here an input lower, input upper. Input upper is our 100 frames, 100 frames. And in the output, I want percent. So I go output range should be a percent. Frame 100. 100%. This is exactly what I want. So, frame input, zip, output, zip. So, when I check this now, let's see, okay, it goes in the wrong direction. I want it clockwise and not counterclockwise. So, uh, I could do it here uh, a minus 100, but I don't want to work with, with negative numbers here. There is a simple note for this, this the negate note. It named like what it does. So negate note, rup, rup, okay one, rup, and yeah, it's okay. So far, so good. Now our capsule has to rotate as well. So yeah, if if I I break uh, quickly the the recording or something else. Uh, don't be surprised. I have a cold. Maybe you hear it, and uh, I sneeze a lot and cough a lot, and I want to to break the, the recording before I start to sneeze or something else. But I hope it it, it works. But so don't be surprised if I cut it and, <laughs> and whoop. But normally you shouldn't realize it. Good. Uh, capsule should rotate too. So in the capsule and the capsule I need the rotation the coordinates rotation B it should be yeah, it should be B so I drag in the rotation B in the capsule here and here's the same I want a frame on frame 100 I want 360 degrees on the capsule so I copy this range mapper here control drag it down and it have a copy and I say now, instead of percent here, I go to degrees. See, we have 360 degrees now. So I go to frame, check, and degrees, check. Let's see what we get. Okay, it rotates, the, the capsule rotates in the wrong direction. So same again. Negate node, control, drag it down. Walk. Again, I could I could put in here minus three sixty, but I don't want to work with negative numbers. And this should. No, we are already close. You see, we have some overlappings here, so this is not what we want. So we have to modify our spline a little bit. So before I start to modify the spline and make a copy of it, because I want to make to create a frame out of this. So let's make this frame that you know what I want to do. I copied it and T for scale make it a little bigger. 
now I make a spline mask and put these two rectangles inside. So in the spline mask I want to go in the C direction. I have a front view now so I look at the C direction. Spline mask object along C is okay here. You can use viewport too but you know C and I need here or so you see we have the second spline and if I now take the spline and put it in a extrude I have my frame so easy it can be 70 and what's uh, uh, yeah let's save it good idea <laughs> uh, capsule you see, I, my, for me, it's it's uh, already a, a, real, uh, a reflex to do to save it. Just I, I, uh, at least every two minutes, I, I hit uh, Control S. This is okay. But what I want is I want everything in the center of the of our scene, so it's easier to it's much easier to work then. Uh, you see, our uh, our extrude is not in the center, so the center would be here. So we have to go. We have 70 uh, depth, so we have to go 35 centimeter outside here. And for this, I make a small uh, uh, expresso too, so that we can put in whatever we want here, and the extrude will be every time in the middle, uh, in the center of the scene. So I go to my spline mask as, again. You can put your expresso tag wherever you want. And I want that the spline mask, the the uh, position C is the half of of this value here. So, I take my spline mask, coordinate position C, drag the position C inside here. Oops. Okay. And I need my extrude. And I need here the value, this value here. But you see, you cannot track it in. So what I can do, I can search it here. So program, object properties, movement, movement C. Or what I like to do is I go to here, right click, user interface and show sub channels. Now I have access to all the sub channels and I can simply drag in the movement C here. So, okay, I want the half of the movement C. So I need a mass node and here I say this comes inside and in the mass node I want not add, I want to divide by 2 and bring this out here and we should see okay this is in the wrong direction so I divide simply by minus 2. Okay now you see our extrude is exactly in the middle here. And now it doesn't matter, let's bring this back here with the user interface, it doesn't matter which uh, value I have here, our extrude is always in the middle here. And so simply it can be. Save. Good. Now we have a lot. Now we modify our rectangle here. So for this I have to make this rectangle here uh, editable. So I hit C on the keyboard, make it editable. And in point mode I see I have here the points, point, 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 point. But when I when drag this out or this out, so everything would go out. So that I need one point here in between everywhere, so that one point stays in the middle. So what I do is, I take this one and this one, this one, this one, and US is a subdivide. And you see we get a new point in the middle. I cannot uh, select all of them and make the US because then I would get here in the corner a subdivision as well and this is not what I want. I want it just on the sides. US. Okay, now I can select this guys, this guys, oops, this guys and this guys. And T for scale and then scale it up a little bit. So you see, okay, we are not inside anymore. So, whoop. okay, that looks not so nice, you would say, but we can go to a capsule 
and make the capsule simply a little longer. So now we are on the edge. Doop, 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 doop. So what we have here, you see, we have well, a little overlapping, but what we have here is on this side. Uh, you see, we have a hard edge here. This is the reason is we have here an, a hard interpolation. So I select this guys, right click and say soft interpolation. Wow. Much nicer. And now I go through with, them with our guy here. And now if I want, I can T for scale and bring it a little out here. So okay, this is you can you can play yes and you can still play with this if you want if you say it no that's I want it more exactly do it but for the tutorial you see how it works and for the tutorial I think this is close enough I would say but I'm not sure but we can change this later on to every time so because I, I'm not sure if I like the size of the capsule maybe, maybe it's somehow a little too thin but I, I, I changed this later on. So, good, so far, so good. We have this now. Blind mask. And this works perfect. Good. Next thing is, how do we continue? I make, I want a, a wall. So for the wall, I simply copy my spline mask here. Oops. which is very easy it's copied now and I know uh, this is the inside of the spline here I don't need this for the wall this is the outside spline here and this outside spline will be now the outside spline from the wall so I make another copy and drag it down and simply make this rectangle here bigger T for scale see when I now go to extrude and say hierarchically I get this and to make this even nicer go to the roundings to you see this nice effect here it looks great and now I can take the bigger one T for scale and make a wall out of this <laughs> so <laughs> we have a wall save I like this. This is really nice. <laughs> you know what? I have an idea. What about when we do this? Some uh, like to make something like a groove in the middle here. So make it outside here and the back side here. Make this smaller and in the middle we stay on this. I think this looks nice. Let's try it. But for this I make a backup folder and drag my this spline my a copy of this spline my backup folder and bring this spline out of the X2. So okay. Now I have my spline mask here. I want to make this a loft now. So I copy my spline and I don't need the expressor here. I copy my spline mask and set this to zero and then I copy it again and set it to 35 so now I have three of them and I create a loft and drag the three splines in the loft so it looks a little weird yes but when we go up with the subdivisions here we get a nice thing but I see a small problem here. Yeah. Why is this? I can imagine why this comes. Uh, go to here. And I go to my rectangles here. I have to deactivate the spline mask to see the points. When I go to point mode now, I don't see the points really. So I see it, but it's easier when I go deactivate the spline mask here. So 
So here it's okay, but when I select this point here, you see we have a tangent here, but here we don't have a tang tangent. And there should be one. The same like here. So I select all these points, select all these points, tangent, these points, these points, and these points, and these three points. Yep, and this. And now I right click and equal tangent length. Okay. Now I go back to my things here, bring back these guys and the loft. Now we have a wonderful thing here. Here we have the same, but uh, yeah, we could make this editable and do the same here, but I don't think that this is necessary. We will see it. But we could we could make it. Why not? We, uh, let's see how it looks. Uh, I make here the loft uh, caps and two. But it looks it looks nice. So let's go to the to the rectangle here. I think we can do it like this, maybe here some more subdivisions. Yeah, this is this is okay. So it was uh, what I want to do is now I select the outer uh, from the inner spline here, so the in this spline from the outside so this inner spline and this inner spline t for scale but be careful i want to scale just in y and x direction so i can take this uh, arrow here or i can go on the c axis and hold the shift key that does the same or you simply deactivate the c here that does the same so but uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's it. So uh, I go simply to this arrow here and make it smaller. Oops. So now I get this this groove here. This is, <laughs> I like this. Did I forget this one? This guy here. This point. It looks like I forgot one point here. Yeah, you see? Equal tangent length. So. Yeah, now it works better. Okay. Yeah, I think this looks much better like this. But if you don't like it, uh, you don't have to do it, of course. So, here's our wall, and da -da 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 -da. yeah, that looks much better because it's here. You see, it's in the in the groove here, and you, here you see that it it really hits our edges. So, yeah, this this is nice. I like it, I like it a lot. Save it. Next step, of course, we need two of our capsules here. So let's make two. I select the circle and the capsule here and simply copy it. Whoops, capsule one, circle one. But you have to be careful here. One thing is in the uh, line of spline, you see, you have inside here is still the circle, but in the capsule one, we need, of course, circle one. So that's that's now I take my circle one and rotate it. Rotate it. 180 degrees. Okay. What do we get? This is not really what we want. So uh, we are still on our circle in the C direction. We rotate it at handy at 80 degrees as well. 
And now, we get this, which is great. Save. So, the next step is we need an arm or something else, so an axis. And I said I want to do something like a fork here. So let's make a fork. I hide this and this and this and this. And this. Let's save first everything. Now I make a rectangle, T for scale and scale it down. Uh, like this I want I need just these I don't want to go okay, it doesn't matter really so I can make this later. This is not really important, so sixty sixty, okay. And here I'm going to that's the wrong direction. 60. Here I want to go. Just a little over the middle of the cup capsule here. Let's say 170. Uh, 160. Or so. oh, this is almost the middle. 165 was nice. Okay. Now I copy my rectangle. And bring it exactly on the and, and the position of this capsule. So bring it under the capsule and simply hit reset PSR. Let's make this, I every time forget, forget to make this a little bigger, this whole thing. I have it here, reset PSR, so I have it under my capsule, reset PSR, and it brings it exactly on the same position. Take it out again. If you don't have it on the, on the toolbar, the reset PSR, it's somewhere here. <laughs> I don't know where. Uh, I, the, the easiest way to find it is hit Shift C, and then you get this. Yeah, I have it here. Then you get this this command line here, and here you with Shift C command line and reset PSR and double click on it, and you have it. And you can drag it from here directly in your toolbar as well. But then for, don't forget. To uh, to save your layout, you customize save layout, a startup layout if you want, or is whatever you want. So reset PSR. So we have this in the same position. I want it the same size as the capsule. Uh, not not totally the same size. It's almost the same size. Should not really touch it. So then like this, okay. Everything like this, a little bigger. Okay. Nice. Now I delete, uh, not not delete. I just hide my capsules. Okay, hide the circles too. And here I make another. Oops. Spline mask. Drag this too inside. We what we look from above, so in the top view, so that means we look at the y axis, so along y. And I don't want union, I want subtract. Okay, this is open. So I go to this rectangle, this is this one, and make this rounding as big as possible. Okay, when I bring now back my capsule, you see it fits nicely inside. And make the capsules a little. More subdivision, so let's say 50 and 10, 10. So now we have a nice round thing here. Okay, cool. I don't want to say cool, is it that uh, this whole kitty series uh, over the, uh, the Christmas celebration things? And then it's cool, cool, cool. <laughs> now, now I am so cool. Okay. Safe. Then next step is I make this whole thing editable. See. And I say I, I said I want to make something like a fork here. So I delete here almost everything. So this, 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 this. Bye bye. 
don't close the spline, please. Okay, and now in point mode, right, we create outline. And let's create an outline. So how big can we make this outline? Let's see, so that we don't come down. So now first bring it in and then create the outline. So this should be enough here. How, many, how much is five to pick this? Five is too less. And now it can, of course, outline. Okay, I'm still on outline. Ten is too much, I think. Oh, ten looks okay so far. I don't hit the wall here. Okay, that's that's okay. Ten is okay. Good. The next step is we have here two points. You see it when I go over it. Uh, okay, I don't have it here. So the, uh, shift V. No, Shift D. Uh, Control D. Uh, nope. I want Shift V again. Display, yeah, display. Hard, this is what I want. I want to select the selected points. See, I have here two points. And here, this looks like one point, but when I go over it, uh, so not, but when I go with the rectangle selection of it, see, these are two points too. So, we have to be careful, we have to make this one point. So I take these two points, they are quite close together, so I can optimize them. So right click optimize or UO optimize. And now I see, okay, this is only just one point. This is a little far away from each other to the optimizing. So you can weld it. Weld is uh, I don't know, see, MQ. So I hit MQ and somewhere in the viewport I click. Oops. And here we have the same problem problem like before with the one tangent on one side and not on the other side. So I right click here, the point is selected here. Right click and equal tangent length and that's repaired. And I think we have the same problem now. Here it's okay. Okay. Nice. So, but so far so good. Now let's bring in another. Don't forget to save another rectangle. G for scale. We had here ten. We was this was ten here. So rectangle ten. Ten for the moment. Let's bring this to 10 as well, huh? Whoop. This is 14, and we have this to 10. It looks better, I think. But let's bring in the capsule here. And drag these two points up to here. Yeah, that looks better. Okay. to our rectangle here. Let's make it bigger. So nice, 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 nice. Another spline mask. Bring in the rectangle and the uh, we look from above so we need a y-axis. Whoops. Great. C on the spline mask and we have our spline bring our points here on the zero on the X. Great. So now we have this here. The next step is give this thickness. But we cannot only uh, extrude it. I'll show you why. When you say OK, no problem, I extrude it. Uh, Bring the spline mask. Let's try it. Maybe this it works. Spline mask in a symmetry and symmetry in an extrude because we are different. So we had 10 everywhere. 
Well, that looks not stupid, but let's go in the inside here. As you see, we have the here polygon, and this is this is not what we want. When I want to extend this, let's see, Alt G, we bring this extrude in a null object, and under the null object, I want to bring in a bevel. You see what we get here. This is not what we want. The symmetry is valid, but uh, this is not what we want. We do it a little different. The null object is okay, but we don't need the extrude here. Delete the extrude. Delete without children is here. I have it here. When delete without children, you can find here in the as a right click, delete without children. So now I don't want the symmetry. What I want is I bring this spline mask first in a loft. So loft, I'll click on the loft. Now I have the symmetry, and the symmetry now uh, weights these two points together here. So this whole thing weights together. And now I can use here the Pi extruder. And you see, you will see. So I want this on my 10. Or let's make it. 10 and, uh, and bring it 5 up on the spline mask here, bring the spline mask 5 up, so that we are in the middle here, so we see it when we kick on our active so we are in the middle here, this is okay, and when I bring the, under the 9 now as a paper deformer, a uh, paper deformer, now you see everything works fine. Paper, Three subdivisions. Oops, not all three. three. Looks not bad too. <laughs> the one, the one. Three subdivisions. I don't want to see this ugly things here. So topology, from the grounding. Whoops, and we have our nice fork here. Looks not bad. And the funny thing is that. The capsules, of, of course, fits exactly inside. That's great. Good so far. Save. The next step is we need, of course, I need a wall here. So, so I take a simple plane plus C. Uh, the plane has to go, uh, we have 35 yeah, plus 2 for the round uh, for the rounding, so 37, so when I go to C-axis to minus 37, that's the wrong direction of course, but I see it's plane, that's good, 37, it should exactly fit here, okay. Now I need something like... Uh, Axis here, so save <coughs> and bring in a bop bop bop. Not a simple cylinder, T for scale, scale it down. So this seems good size. Radius four. More segments here, 50, and we go up here. So we don't see it here in the, in the background. So the only thing I want to do is make here something like a ring around. So we make a tube as well. T for scale, whoop she. Then let's go to plus C. We know the inner radius is four we set. Outer radius, let's make it six. Yeah, this would be nice. Height of two looks good too. We don't need anything of this. E to move it on the back side here. 
something like this. Give it a little fillet things going. And more section 52. Okay, see. And here we need something like a rivet or something else, so I copy the cylinder. Drag it to the front here, wink. Make it much, much not so high. <laughs> Let's see, two as well. And a fillet as well, make it point five. Okay, bring it to here. looks believable and of course we need this guy here I want to put it on here and here here and here as well so bring in our capsules the middle of the capsule is let's see if we're here and is everything okay here yeah? no it is okay everything is in the center that's great this is what I like, everything in the center. So display, I want to see here, the wireframe. At the middle of, the, let's hide the plane for the moment. The middle of the tubes is supposed to be here. Okay. The middle of the tube is here, good. So uh, take this cylinder one, this is a small thing here. I make a copy out of it. And drag it to the middle of this thing. So I could activate the snapping for a moment. Edge snap. So, oops, okay. That's great. So, and we need it, of course, here in the front. Shift S I to disable the snapping. I want the a little longer the fork here, so let's go to a spline mask here. So take these points here. And I have a look to here, so just take it a little. Like this, uh, something like this. Okay, great. And now I make some symmetries to. So I have this cylinder here. Make one symmetry to can we bring it one on this side. The second symmetry to bring these two on the other side. So here, bring in a symmetry object. Whoop. So, or make it so that's that's the same. <laughs> make another symmetry and bring it here. But now I have to set the symmetry to here. And now you see we have everywhere. Oh, a thing here, uh -huh, except here. Where is this now? Did I steal the wrong one? Okay, then so cylinder. Reset PSR and bring it again to the front. Uh, it seems I dragged both of them to here. So. Okay, now it works. <laughs> Good. 
safe. So far, so good. Pretty. Looks crazy. But now I think our fork should rotate too, so because so it looks a little weird. Okay. Bring everything we need for our fork. So the symmetry. This whole thing here is our fork. Where is it? I need another null. Fork. All. So, bring the fork in here and bring in the symmetry to here. And now when I rotate the fork, all it should. I don't want to put the symmetry inside here because the bevel would then work on the symmetry. So, that's the reason I don't want to do the same. Null. So uh, when I rotate this, everything should rotate with it. With it. That's exactly what I said. Okay. And now we know we have here a great rotation thing going. We want this fork all rotating 360 degrees on 100 frames. So simply bring this in. Again the same. Uh, Fork or call it let B wink range mapper copy the range mapper. I don't even have to copy the range mapper because the range mapper is the 360 100 frames 360. Track it on the rotation. Let's see what we get. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Nice! So, that means it's almost everything done. No, there are the two spheres in there. But why is... Uh, oh, why is... Something is... Ah! This is the reason we don't hit the edges. We should bring in the loft as well. <laughs> Good! So, here now, let's start with the spheres inside the capsule. For this, uh, I want that the position is uh, vertical and, and the, at the beginning. So how can I do this? I go to this circle where the capsule is on, rotate this 90 degrees. Okay, it's not bad. The capsules from plus x to plus y. Yeah, and now we have to bring the fork here and rotate it 90 degrees. But I think this won't. Oh, it works. Uh. <laughs> well, I think so. This fork we have to rotate. Wait. Now we have a little problem. Why is this not? Let's go back to somewhere. Ah, because we are not, not on the frame zero. Good. And so we have to do this again. So circle, circle. Rotate 90 degrees. Capsule, capsule. Object plus Y. Look. And we have to do fork all. We have to fork all. Rotate. Ah, yeah, it, of course. It, we cannot rotate it. Because this is in the, in the Expresso tag. So what I have to do is I go to this express attack where the fork is inside, so we see the fork, and disable the express so for the moment. Now I have to drag this to here, 90 degrees. What I have to do now is set the axis of this null to zero. 
This is quite easy. It's quite easy to do. I go to my axis tool here, set it to zero, and deactivate the axis tool. Now I enable the expressor again, and now everything should work quite nicely. Perfect. Okay. Next step. Let's make the capsules X-ray, so we can see through nicely. I uh, don't need three to see through. We can do it on this side too. And here I go to the palms. Bring in a sphere. Boing. Make this here a bit smaller, G for scale, G, bring this here, oops, bring this here up here into the thing, so make it a little bigger, oh, not bigger, I want round or something like this. And I can make it bigger too, so 23 maybe, no, just as much, 22, 21. I want that it's almost on the. It should not intersect, but almost. So. Okay. And the same I do with another sphere. So I copy this sphere, drag this guy down to here. Okay, this is fine. Save. And now I want to make the capsules. I want to make the, the something like a division. So, so, so I want to divide. So, so I want to make a little groove here in the, in the subdivision there. So we can see where the half of this capsule is. So I make these two capsules editable. See. And with the extra for the moment. UL and uh, this is the middle here and I make the same on the other one. Hold your shift key to add the selection, so okay. MS for bevel. Bevel it a little bit. That's a nice bevel it a little bit. Yeah, something like this is totally fine. And option all three. Shift click on my uh, polygon selector, so you see the polygons are selected. This should be on the other one as well, okay. Now D for extrude, and I extrude it in the, the inside a little bit. So, doesn't matter how far, but not so far. <laughs> Minus, oh. Four, oops, minus four, minus oh four. This is good. this is it. Okay. Now, edge mode. You edge this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge. This one and this one and this one and this one. Now MS for bevel again. Little bevel, something like this. Give it three things and we are happy with it. Now UL in edge mode, uh, in polygon mode. UL is so. I think this guy and this guy. And now UF for fill selection. UF. And hold your shift cap here to add this selection in the middle. So this is nice. And I do the same on the other side. No, I don't have to do this on the other side. I have it on my capsule here. Make a selection tag, so set selection. That's why I stored my selection. 
If you don't have the set selection in your toolbar, you will find it under select, set selection. Okay. And I simply copy this selection tag on the other capsule. So that means when I double click this, we have this selected as well. Great. Okay. So now let's do this here. X-ray it again and make this now dynamic. For the dynamic, I need the capsule should be a collider body. So I selected both capsules. Uh, simulation tag collider body. Okay, we have a collider body here. The collider body should be in the shape of static mode, that, uh, static mesh. This is okay. And our two spheres, we select both, they get a rigid body deck. Boing. And here everything should be fine as well. So let's see what we get when we replay. Okay, it does not really work nice. Yeah, I know why. Select all the dynamic decks, bounce and friction here. And the condition bounce and friction I want zero zero yes zero bounce zero friction maybe on the spheres I make a little bounce so it looks maybe a little funny so 20 percent bounce but let's see what we get now now this works yay Hooray! <laughs> Isn't this great? Save it! Okay, now we can start with uh, texturing this thing. Yeah, I do it again in, in Octane, but because it's again not, not really uh, not a hard thing to texture. And as I uh, already mentioned in the last uh, tutorial I made, uh, if you really have problems with uh, texturing something like this in physical render, please watch uh, one of my other tutorials. I showed it at least hundred times how to how to a texture with physical render. So please please watch uh, some of my other tutorials. And if you really have problems with the with uh, 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 particular this one, then you can tell me, and, and I will of course I will help you. There's no no question about it. But uh, please try before to watch some other tutorials, something else. It's really not hard. And here we do nothing special. Of course, if if I do something where it's totally different to do uh, texture with physical render and octane, of course, then I show both ways. This is no good. But here it's not not it's the same. So so. I hope you understand me, and I hope you are not angry with me. So let's find a cool camera angle. So we need a camera, so objects, clean camera. So first thing I want to the camera is the coordinates. I want this to stay here on zero. Then I go up, of course, a little bit. So it looks not bad here. We can help us a little bit if we go over to the composition and make a grid inside. So we see where the middle is, but in this case, I, I just watch here and here, and it's, it's almost okay. But normally it would be correct to be that we have the, the capsules in the middle here. This is okay. This is okay too. Nice, nice, nice. Make a Protection tag, and then the protection tag. I uh, say so here we are. Uh, I'm allowed. I don't want to. No, not that. The X. Yeah, nothing. So it is nice. So, uh, maybe X and C. Yeah, X and C is allowed. Okay, safe. Whoop, whoop. The next, I want to make it a little more interesting. Let's make a small frame around this whole thing here. 
This should be quite easy. This is our wall here. Get down here. I simply copy this wall and hide this one for the moment. Yeah. So when I make this wall, this, this is the outer spline here. T for scale and the scale this outer spline simply as far as you see. Uh -huh. We get something like a frame here. Isn't that cool? <laughs> and I want this frame. Let's see, I don't need to. Oh, Express does not disturb us here, so. Let's see, two centimeter, not more, and caps. Size of one. Maybe. Let's see how this looks. Bye bye. Okay, that seems nice, and I want it on the top, so I go to here. Take the spine, E for size, what to do, bring it. No. Bye bye. Express attack. Minus 40, maybe. Let's see how this looks. Seems not. Ah, ah, minus 40 was okay. Great. Now bring back our original wall. Okay. And I make this whole spline here, the spline mask T for scale. And scale it up. So I have a frame around my thing here. Makes it a little more interesting, I think. And we can make even another one. I make another one. T for scale and uh, make this bigger and make the outer one bigger. So I have a fat thing here. Let's see what we get. Looks interesting. So and we could start to do something to texture this. Okay, let's do it. So uh, first, I bring in something to ref to, to light and reflect. I bring in my scene rig, of course. Don't need the floor in the scene rig here for the moment. Shadow catcher, I don't need. And now I want a uh, glass for the capsules. So, material, specular material. Bring it on the capsules. Capsule. Capsule. So, and we want a little roughness, of course. A little too much, maybe. So, I want the correct index. 517. And I want here, of course, I want GGX. Okay. And I want here, we had this tiling here, so let's use this. What do we do here? Let's make, I'll make this a little later. Uh, now I want some material for the wall here. So I hope what do I have over No. This ah here. My no normal layout I have everything up here, so that's the reason I always go up here. So I open live database. This could take a little while now. Oh, 
It's a surprise. <laughs> Gold, download it. This is my Renico Media texture pack here. If you're a patron, five euro and above, you can download it. And yeah, and you get this project file as well too. So this here. I don't know why it brings me around the edges inside here every time. It's not my thing. Grayscale Cola is nothing else than the float. It's called Grayscale Cola now when I bring it in. I don't know why. So, bring this gold on our spheres. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Where are the spheres? Here. And here. No. Yeah. This looks a little weird, but it looks like like fluid. I like it, but uh, if you want it, uh, I don't know. Yeah, we don't have any thickness on these capsules. So, if you uh, put a thickness on these capsules, select two, two two capsules and create generate a cross Alt click point. Now I have a cross surface on two, and make this two cross surface little thickness, so, so point 0.1. Then you will see, now you get exactly the spheres. But I think it does not look bad with, with something like this. Looks more interesting somehow. So do it like you want, but I th I'll leave it like this for now. So, and then I want the, f the fork, fork all, this is fork all. Okay, good bring it on the fork all. Yeah, of course. And I bring it on the tube, on the cylinder, on the cylinder one. Nice. Good. Then let's go to what do we take for our... For, 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 I think, yeah, if this This should be our, well, this is not our wall, two is the frame. The frame, small, frame, big, so, wall, okay, a little big. And here is the same. I, I sure did not save it like this. This comes. Don't worry. And I sure did not use any edges here. So make the transform here a little smaller, of course. And I don't want the bumps, so I so go to my bump chum chum here, this image, go down with the power. Okay, maybe a little more power now. Okay, nice. And make another gold material for the head. First, I think I will just give a wood texture here. Wouldn't it be good if it would be wood? <laughs> So, wood, this one here, download, maybe, 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 so this, so, let's see if it works, wood, 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 on the loft, okay, here I need, for sure, eh, why frame pick? Here I need for sure a cubic mapping. And right click, 
fit to object yes okay see if we can play a little with the transform Yep. See fit. The next thing is I want gold here on, on the frames as well, but another gold, a little dirty gold. So bring this. These are the frames. So I go to my second monitor here and the bridge. And bring in some dirt, something. So, here. As I said, patrons will get the project file with the textures. And I bring this to the roughness instead of this guy here. And you see, it looks like this. And bring it to the frames. Frame small. Frame big, and I wanted cubic mapping both. And fit to object. Don't know if I have it done. Both fit to object here too. Okay, and I don't want it so. Dominant, so I go with power down. And make it maybe a little smaller. Transform. Okay. I don't want you to very black thing so what I do is save and bring in between the image texture and the roughness channel gradient subsy <sighs> and all this was so black so I go to the black color make the black color not as black Bigger is better. So, so far so good. So, okay. Poof, where is my mouse here? Here it's nice and here, yeah. I think I can stay with this, but uh, I know the detail now. That's fine.
Okay, what I need is another HDRI. Yeah, this is uh, this for sure. So, Shift F8. And yes, this HDRI, what I see here. Take it. And now we have nice reflections here in the glass. That looks nice. Now I see it on this volume. Yeah, that looks very nice. And here on the background here, I want something like like a mirror. So I make a material, not as metallic. I want a glossy material. I'll bring this on. This is for a plane. Where is the plane? Here's the plane. Wink. And now, RGB spectrum. Okay, I think I stay with this. But now I want, of course, I want a little roughness. And I want an index of one. Okay, but I don't, ah, go to the GGX here, ah, much better, much better. Save it. I think we are done. The only thing that I don't like, I think we to go a little up with our whole thing here. Let's get to the end. My axis. it okay now I want to see how this little maybe yeah I want more first I want a little depth of field so go to here and I want to focus in here and depth of field and 10 maybe also. but that is no this seems too much eight Seven. Okay. And what I want is, uh, of course, the noise. Yeah, it looks great with the noise. Save. What I do now is I want to cache this animation here. So I go, I can go with Control D. I go to my dynamic settings. I go to the expert and make here, let's see, let's a little more frames, a little more accurate. And here I simply hit bake, so that bakes everything. So now I can scroll through and you will see the dynamic is cached, so I can scroll through and have my dynamics here. Okay save it and what i do now is render setting 200 is more than enough for the power test here static noise go to here whoops obtain render beauty bus up there render not 100 frames i render 99 so to, to know i don't want the first frame and the last frame the same frame so we would have a little hiccup. So I, say, I have exactly 100 frame now from 0 to 99. So and I render this and then I'm back when I'm done. Okay, see you soon. In a second. 
Okay, it's done. Let's see what we get. It looks great, but let's see here. It seems this sphere does not come all the way down. This is, something happens with the, the, the I think here everything looks great for me. Now we have just to play a little with the dynamics. Okay. Something went wrong with the dynamics, but this shouldn't be a big problem. So let's see if we cached everything. So, yeah, should fall down here. It's maybe because of the. Know what we will do? Uh, D, uh, Control D to clear the cache. Here. Gravity may be a little higher, 5,000. There, now they fall down. But this one here, this is not correct. Do not maybe make this is a little smaller, radius of 20 maybe. <laughs> it could be that it is this, this guy here. If it is so, I delete it simply. Because at the moment I did not even render it differently. I forgot to render our thing here. Yeah, now it works. Okay, it works. But I want to make here, you know, uh, this. Uh, let's make a gold material for these two things as well. So, I think this could look not bad. So, gold material with this polygon selection. Copy this material to here, which this, this has the same polygon selection. And if we render this. Where is my. Uh, can't do a look. Save. We have it here, so let's come a little bit closer. Yeah, we have the gold here, but we don't do not really see it very well. Oh, we will always see it. We could make it black, but let's try it. The material for this I don't need. For this I do not really uh, roughness, not roughness. Fuse material, so something like this. Roughness a little bit. What's going on here? Glossy. Specular. What's going on here? Roughness. So, I bring this on. Just drag it over the other the thing so that it uh, exchanges the material. Uh, it may be better with a black thing here. Save. 
bit. So, but I don't think that I have to render it again. So you, you definitely see it works now. Yep, it works. Okay, this was it. Let's. The last thing we do is bake it again. So done. So I can make a nice preview render like like this. So. Okay. Uh, okay. I hope I, you like this one. I, I liked it very much. It was, was a really nice thing. And yeah, maybe a little. This bloom's so nice. But I don't even have bloom on. Post processing. Bloom power. <laughs> Chuck. <laughs> no, it's a, a little overdone. <laughs> so, okay. I hope you like this one and this is definitely the last one this year. Uh, yeah, if you have requests, questions, complaints, please let me know, tell me in the comments on my Facebook group. I would I would love if you uh, subscribe to my Facebook group. Uh, it's not my Facebook, it's our Facebook group. There are a lot of very talented people there, so if you have questions and I'm not here, everyone wants to help you there. So, so everyone who can will help you so i promise this and yeah if you want to donate you can do so uh, it's a good time before <laughs> before the new year so if you want to donate you find the link in the description and if you want to support me on patreon you will find the link in the description as well and of course patreon can download all my project files i do so with the tutorials and everything sometimes some Project files, I don't make a tutorial for it, so so uh, there is something. And I have material packs. Next year I have a little more time and I will become an update for everything I did. And uh, I think about to... Uh, may maybe I... Uh, I don't know, maybe I get the second guy with me who helps me, but uh, it's not sure, but I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I'm a little... A little strange <laughs> things like this uh yep uh, if, if you want something if you need something uh, if it can help you please let me know and i wish you all a really 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 happy new year a successful and healthy new year and everything what you all your wishes should should come true shall come true so uh Yep, I'm he again here next year, of course. I hope you will follow me next year too. So, uh, <laughs> hope you don't give up following me. If you like my channel, uh, please tell other people from my channel, of my channel, or something else. But I am I'm shocked how many people I already have from my, of my, on my YouTube channel. This is now uh, almost 36,000 or something else. It's, it's, I never thought that I will get more than 500. <laughs> but uh, yeah, nice surprising. Okay, this was it. And again, happy new year, successful new year, healthy new year. What is the, all, the, the, the important one, most important one. And we will yeah, hopefully see us the air we will see us next year if you go with me i i plan uh, live streaming some maybe once a month or something else we will see how many time i have next year it should be a little quieter so we will see okay uh yeah bye bye and all the best to you all and tschüss und baba und happy new year und Wünsche euch ein schönes neues Jahr. <lacht> Papa.